Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. In today's video, I'm going to be going through with you guys what I do in terms of my skincare routine when I want, you know, really flawless skin under like maybe a high glam look. You know, I really want my skin to be at its best, you know, if you're wearing heavy foundations or if you're wearing a light foundation, you want your skin showing through, things like that. So this is basically my pre-makeup skincare routine. Um, it does change here and there depending what products I'm using, what products I'm given, products I find. You never know. Um, but basically, this is my current one. So yeah, let's get into it. So I've just had a shower um, and in the shower I like to cleanse my skin and exfoliate and all that sort of stuff. Obviously I'm not going to film myself in the shower, but just whatever cleanser. I mean, thanks to Bellbox and my job in pharmacy, you know, I've always got like <laughs> samples upon samples of cleansers. So um, whatever cleanser I'm using, I do like to use this. It's this little silicone sort of like face scrubber thing that I found on eBay for like a dollar. So basically it's made out of silicone so it's easy to clean and it's got all these like little bumps that basically exfoliate the dead skin off of your face while you're cleansing. So you basically pop your fingers through there. There's this like little T thing to kind of put your fingers into place like that and you basically just scrub your face with it nice and gentle with the cleanser so it not only cleanses your face but it exfoliates as well to remove any dead skin cells so I really do like to use that not just when I'm preparing for um, high glam makeup but also when I'm in the shower just like every day when I'm in the shower I use it so yeah, um, as you can tell, I do not have perfect skin. I feel like perfect skin is very hard to achieve in a realistic world these days. Let's get into the skincare. So I'm just going to go over my face with a little bit of micellar water just because it's feeling a little bit dry. This is just the one I'm currently using. I usually use the Garnier or Bioderma, but I got given this one, so I wanted to give it a go. Um, is the uh, Nivea Sensitive Caring Micellar Water. It's three in one, blah, blah, blah. Use a sister's cotton round. So now that my face feels nice and fresh, I usually go in with a toner. Um, I do prefer spray toners, however, you know, I use any toner that I really, really have. I just, I'm right now, I'm really just trying to use up all the products I have. I just have cupboards upon cupboards of products. So the one that I have always loved, it's my favorite toner. Um, it is the Model Co Replenishing Rose Mist Toner. Um, I'm almost empty. I think I've gone through like six of these in my lifetime. Like I've gone through so many, um, but I have some others waiting to be used. So I'll wait until I've used those, but I'll definitely be repurchasing this one after those. I usually would go in with either a serum or an oil. Today I'm going to be using an oil and it is the Sukun um, Organic Rose Hip Oil. I use a million different serums, oils, whatever with sample I'm using that day. I'm just trying to get through so many samples. I have boxes of samples. I just want to get them used. So I'm going to start clean slate, you know. Um, I actually got this one at an event for my pharmacy job and uh, when I was at the Sukin booth, um, the lady was so lovely. She was trying out all these products with me. And this was one of the ones she sent me home with, as well as a spray toner that I'll be using after the Modelco one. Um, so yeah, I've really been enjoying this. I've been using it all the time since she gave it to me. Like, I think I went in May or June to this event. So I've been really liking this. So I'm just gonna make sure there's some product in there. I'm just going to put it on my face and sort of spread it out. It does have a yellowness to it. So if your face looks a little bit Simpson-like, don't be too scared. It's actually very nice once it sinks in. 
but yeah it does make my face look slightly yellow but it doesn't last so that's okay Now this would be a step that I would do that would be dependent on the season or um, the event, the day, time of day, whatever you think. But I would go in with a, a facial sunscreen. I'm not going to put it on my face today because it's the middle of the night in July in Australia, so it's the middle of winter. I don't really need it. Um, but again, it's a step that I recommend doing if you're in summer or if you're going to an event outdoors, things like that. Um, I just wanted to mention it as I do use a, a facial sunscreen when, you know, it's summer. So um, definitely one to add to your routine if it's necessary. Um, not necessary for me right now, but definitely in a few months. Next, I'll go in with a moisturizer. Um, I do like to use quite a heavy moisturizing moisturizer um, just because I have quite dry skin and I really do need to lock that hydration in especially if I'm piling a ton of foundation and powders like a lot of powder products on top it really does have the ability to dry out my skin so this is the one I've just started using it is the physio gel calm relief cream for dry irritated and sensitive skin I had just finished a kind of come like a another product from this brand um, and I couldn't get any more product out so I freshly opened this one this week this is the one that I just finished within the last week or two and it is the daily moisture therapy for very dry sensitive skin so basically kind of in the same family same brand for the same type of skin this one's just gonna be a bit more calming because as you can see I'm quite red um, I just have sensitive dry skin so I absolutely adored this one so as you can tell like I don't usually use up a lot of products I have so many um, but I used this all up and I got this in a Bella box and I also got this in a Bella box and Bella box they knew what they were doing <laughs> I feel like something that's also important to mention is that between each of these steps just give your skin like a little bit of time to soak in all of the products because if you put them all on all too quickly they're not going to really do what they need to do they're just going to mesh all together and you could, your face is just going to become quite slimy and it's just it's, you don't know where you're pushing all these products around your skin definitely needs to let it sink in Especially since you're using so many products in this routine as well, it's quite important to let each product have their moment to shine, I guess you could say. So, just going to let that sink in a little. So next I'm going to go with an eye cream and I find an eye cream is really important when, you know, you want to have that flawless, you know, under eye look because um, some concealers can crease and you don't, yeah, it might crease, but to try and minimize that and keep your under eyes healthy and hydrated. I know for a long time I had an issue where all under my eyes would get really red and irritated and flaky dry and it took a lot for me to get my skin back to like a non itchy flaky red disgusting can't leave the house situation it was very bothersome for me for a long time but you know I found the right products for me I found what works what doesn't and I do find that it's very helpful for me to use an eye cream I wouldn't use the same eye cream all the time I know it's quite important to keep up with the routine but with my skin I do find that using the Neutrogena like water gel sort of eye cream kind of helps if you want like to give it an extra boost of hydration underneath just your normal eye cream um, right now I don't really need that but again just an added suggestion if you do have 
quite dry skin like I do. Um, but today I'm going to be using the Origins Ginseng. Yes, it's my little sample. I'm almost finished. I bought the full size. It's waiting to go. But I can't waste this little sample that I got. It's been amazing. But I'm struggling to get stuff out. So I'm just going to take a little bit on the edge of my finger. Just pop it under my eyes. I'm just going to rub it quite lightly. I'm not going to put too much pressure. Not, don't want to drag the eye. I'm going to make sure I get in right in there where it's quite blue. And maybe get up on my eyelid. Yeah, make sure I don't spread it out but not too much pressure. I don't want to irritate the skin any more than it already is. And there we go. Um, after this, I would usually, if I had one, I don't currently have one, I ran out, um, but I would use maybe an eyelash serum. Um, I've heard great things about Royal Vital Lash, I've never tried it. Um, I definitely need to get on to, back onto the uh, Lash Serum bandwagon. Um, I don't have amazing natural lashes, so yeah, that could be another step you could add. I know it's not skincare related, but it's definitely something you can add to your routine. And to finish all of this off, I'm going to go in with this Mario Badescu um, facial spray with aloe, chamomile and lavender. It is not like super new, but um, I've definitely been enjoying it a lot more recently. I just want to finish off with this spray just because it has calming botanicals in it. And as you can see, my face really does need calming down. And you know how much I love sprays. <laughs> So yeah guys, that is my skincare routine for a makeup day, heavy makeup day, whatever you want to call it. This is my pre-makeup skincare routine. And yeah, I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you in the next one. See you guys.